Hello, I'm Wendy Loretto, Professor of Organisational Behaviour at the University of Edinburgh Business School. And I'm Jakov Jandric, I'm a lecturer in Organisational Behaviour at the University of Edinburgh Business School. So we're excited to be here talking to you about our research project Shaw, Supporting Healthy Ageing at Work, based here in the Business School, but involving a range of co-investigators at other universities and organisations in the UK and beyond. This project is investigating the relationships between the health needs of so-called older workers over 50s and their work. So our impact really starts with research and for our interdisciplinary project we have combined qualitative methods, quantitative methods but also participatory design methods. And we've used those to collect data from about 170 employees aged 50 plus about their health and how their health and work interact. We've had lots of detailed findings about aspects of, of hidden health, that's things that are less talked about, for example menopause, for example neurodiversity, or um, the health challenges of supporting elderly relatives. But the overarching findings that have come out of Shaw have really been that individual employees need help in better understanding uh, their health and that's where the data really play a strong part and once they understand their health they then need further support in being able to have conversations with line managers and employers so that that health can be better supported. And the research has impact beyond the project. We're working with two organisations. First of all Age Scotland, a national charity for older people. We're working with them to design and deliver training to 1,500 line managers across Scotland to improve age awareness in the workplace. And secondly, we're working with Sleep Scotland, another charity focused on improving health hygiene, to take their work into the, the, the workplace in order to help employers better support the sleep needs of their employees. We work with Age Scotland also in Age at Work Network, where we partner with Business in the Community and CIPD. And which is really a platform for Scottish businesses to get support and expert knowledge about how to create truly age-inclusive workplaces. And we've been really impressed by the involvement of employers in this work. So there's employers involved in Shaw from the finance sector, from engineering sector and from the care sector and also self-employed uh, older workers. And then beyond show, we've already got interest from other sectors, including retail, the veterinary profession and the police. And we are particularly interested in continuing our work with the self-employed participants, who are a group that is usually difficult to reach. And we are partnering here with Enterprising You, an organisation that supports self-employed workers within the greater Manchester area. I firmly believe that academic research can and should support and open up difficult conversations about age in the workplace. Absolutely. When I first started researching this area some 20 years ago, we didn't even have legislation preventing age discrimination and people could be forced to retire. So impactful research has had a real role to play in advancing policy and practice. After all, we're talking here about uh, a proportion of the workforce, the over 50s, that will constitute nearly half of our work, whole workforce by 2030. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening.